So if you like to drive with your full doors off, whether you have trail doors or not, you need a set of mirrors and these Rugged Ridge Quick Release Rectangular Mirrors in Black will be a great addition to your 2007 to 2018 JK Wrangler. Now, I would like to mention right off the bat that this is going to come with one mirror right out of the box. So if you are looking for a set, you will need to purchase two. Now, however, no matter where you're driving, visibility is key, and this set of mirrors will be a great pick if you want an easy solution that you can pop on and off whenever you need to. Now, these are gonna mount to the A-pillar and be easily installed and removed with the spin of a knob while retaining full adjustability for your personal preference. Now, that's gonna make it a great choice for the JK owner who wants a no-fuss setup, wants to keep the hinge open for other accessories, and doesn't necessarily want to take the mirrors off of their full doors. Not to mention, these will add some off-road appeal to the Jeep and match very well with any other off-road accessories. Now, these mirrors will have a durable build with a nice gloss black finish on the outside to hold up to the elements. Now, this will come with a small bracket that's going to attach to the A-pillar here. I also like the fact that it's gonna come with a gasket on the back to protect your paint. So, uh, being a non-permanent modification, it is going to make sure that your A-pillar stays in mint condition. You're also getting an arm here that's going to hold the mirror sturdy and the mirror itself with a socket style mount on the back for a good range of adjustability. And I also like the fact that this will take the rectangular shape of the mirror, which will offer some really good visibility, especially over some smaller options. Now again, these will also be super easy to install and operate considering the lockable knob that's going to hold the mirror in place, making sure that it's not going to move around on you. Now again, all you have to do is remove this knob, put the arm in this location here, tighten it down, it's gonna clamp it in place so it's not gonna move around. And this is going to have one bolt on the back, making it super easy to put this whole set together, which we'll show you in just a minute. Now, when it comes to price, this will come in at roughly $50. Again, it is going to come out of the box as a singular mirror. So if you are planning on purchasing one for both sides, you will be looking at about $100. However, I think that that's very reasonable, especially with the quality and the function that you're getting with this set. When comparing these to other options, I do again like the fact that this will have a large mirror portion and will have that quick release configuration, making it super simple and straightforward. Now, other choices may have different mounting locations, like again, the hinge, or will have a different shape or size to the mirror. I personally think if you're looking for an easy to use and good looking option for an off-road mirror, then this is going to be a great pick. Now, install will be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you roughly 15 minutes again uh, this is going to be for one mirror here. So you're looking about 30 minutes total for both sides to get the job done with some basic hand tools. Now at this point, we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of that install and what it looks like. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and jump into it. For this install, we're going to be using a 12 millimeter ratchet wrench. A regular wrench or a socket will work just fine too. A pair of channel locks, a Phillips head screwdriver, a T40 Torx socket, and a 3 8 drive impact gun. A ratchet will work just as well. So today we're going to be installing a mirror on our Jeep Wrangler. Let's get started. The first step in this install is going to be removing the top set of two T40 bolts. Now I'm using a T40 Torx bit on my 3 8 drive impact. I'm just going to zip them out. like that. Now that we have those two bolts removed, we can grab our quick release bracket from the kit, hold it in place, and take those bolts, thread them back in, starting them by hand, one and two. You'll notice that I have the nut that the screw goes into on the bottom. Now that we have those in, I can take that 3 8 impact, the T40 socket on it, snug them up. The next step is we're going to take the arm of the mirror and the center of the quick release joint, slide them together. It's orientated like this and the arm moves up. We're also going to line the hole up inside so that when we slide this into the joint, we can grab the screw from the kit and drop it through, tighten it down. 
We're gonna go ahead and snug that up so we can attach the head of our mirror a little bit easier. Next, we're gonna grab some of the hardware that's included in the kit. We're gonna start with the 12 millimeter bolt and the lock washer. We're gonna slide the lock washer onto the bolt and then a regular washer. And we're gonna put that through the arm like that and then one more regular washer, put that on the back of the bolt. So at this time, you can grab your mirror and start threading that bolt into the mirror head. It's gonna to get to a point where you're not gonna be able to spin the bolt anymore without spinning the shaft on the back of the mirror. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get a pair of channel locks and grab this to keep it still. So I'm gonna take my channel locks and grab that shaft there firmly, but not hard enough that I'll scratch the finish. I'm going to take my 12 millimeter ratchet wrench, make sure it's going the right way, and snug up that bolt. Once that's snug, there's two adjustment points. You can adjust the mirror on this ball joint here, as well as loosen the screw on the quick release bracket and adjust the mirror like that. So we want the mirror to sit right about there. And then we can adjust the mirror. When you find the spot that you'd like it, you can take your Phillips head screwdriver and just snug up those Phillips head screws on the back of the mirror head. Depending on the angle, one might be tough to get to. But now that they're all snug, that's install complete. And there you have it. Those were the Rugged Ridge Quick Release Rectangular Mirrors in black for the 2007 to 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK. For all things Jeep, remember to keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com. <laughs>